Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jimbo and today we're gonna to be discussing cheap foam cannon versus expensive one. This one was $12, this one was 99. This one, $12.50 on Amazon, also came with this, well, they were calling it a microfiber towel. It's horrendous. It's not a towel. It's a throwaway, but that doesn't matter because this one came with nothing and was 10 times the price almost. So the, the initial differences, and I know they're both gonna foam because I overloaded it with soap and whatever, but I wanna talk about some initial differences. Obviously, this one has a shorter stout, but two key features that, you, that maybe you won't use, but you should know about. This ring right here, this gray ring, if you turn it, it changes the position of this, so watch. It's there, sideways I guess, and then if you twist it, it goes vertically. Horizontal, if you turn it, vertically. And then this black part here will change the width of the foam. And that is cool, and it's a very smooth twist, right? Uh, so that'll that'll change the how far the foam sprays, and then you have this nozzle up top, which clicks into place, which is nice. And this will uh, this changes how much foam it, the foam and water ratio. So uh, dif a different kind of looking bottle, which is cool. I would say the best part about this is the construction of this part. The construction of this part is the best. Um, not sure how useful that feature from horizontal to vertical is, um, but kind of cool. So uh, there's that, again, smooth and everything feels like it's interlocking uh, when you rotate it. Uh, so that's cool, 100 bucks for that one. $12.50 one uh, obviously has this way longer, I don't even know what you would call this part. Again, same nozzle at the top. It doesn't click into place like the MTM one does. It just spins. So um, again, maybe a big deal, maybe not a big deal, but it just spins. And this is the foam water ratio one. Um, there is nothing to, obviously this one will open and it's so hard to do. Uh, open and close the amount of spray on the foam, uh, but doesn't have an op any option to flip this to horizontal. So not sure that's a big deal. You would literally just have to change it like that. And when initial, cheap, expensive. Now let's foam it just for fun. I got two Teslas behind me. Let's let's just have some fun. Obviously I added way too much soap to both of these, so they're gonna foam great. And I think that's gonna be the gist of it. Both of these are gonna foam, um, but I will show you how they work. Before we get started, one thing I wanted to show you on my older foam cannon uh, that someone sent me out and I'm grateful for it. I didn't use it for a long time uh, and then just been using it daily uh, for the past couple months. And the weird part is it's starting to work now. Um, but the inner part right there that's supposed to close and open actually broke on me. So not sure why it's working all of a sudden now, but that was not working <laughs> the other day. Uh, and so, and you can kind of hear it click and it's broken and stuff. So uh, that's what kind of put me on this whole uh, journey. Obviously, some people complain about it breaking where the bottle meets that. This one seems to be a great construction for that. And to be honest, I throw it all around. So I kind of wasn't surprised that it broke. Um, but even, even this fan at the smallest, it just wasn't working. So I was having this huge fan spray. Um, so that's why I got two more. So let's try them out on these Teslas, all right?
thing to note is that I, I did lay down a pretty thick, heavy foam, um, and I didn't adjust, I obviously had it adjusted to suck in a lot of foam, but I used about a half a bottle of that one. So when we use the MTM one, it'll be interesting to see if I can use less and still get the same amount of foam. So just something to note. Same thing, used about half of the bottle of soap, maybe a little less than half, but pretty comparable to the cheap, the cheap foam cannon. Okay, so my initial thoughts on the cheap versus expensive um, is that they virtually will do the same thing. I think and where I'm gonna go with this is probably keep them both around and use the cheap one and see how long it lasts. Um, virtually does the same thing to the car. If you're an at-home DIYer, you could probably get away with the $12.50 one, which I'll link below, um, because you're probably not gonna be using it as much as a professional would. So if you're okay with spending less money and kind of having a standard looking one, this one's gonna serve you and foam a car just fine. Especially if you're only doing, you know, one or two, three cars a week. Um, again, I'm gonna put it to the test and see how long it takes to break it. But when you can almost buy 10 of these for the equivalent price of one, other than looking cool and um, having a few different features, I don't know if it justifies the extra spend other than we'll see how long it lasts. So I'm gonna burn through this one first, see how long it lasts, and then move on to this one and see how long this one will last. Um, again, even with this one that I've had for a while, um, it's been rolling around the truck and it, it def for whatever reason the fan broke, uh, the, sp the spray part broke, um, but it still got me three or four months um, and probably, mm, a few hundred cars, so um, if it's $12.50 and can get you a couple hundred cars, that's not a bad deal. There is that having to repurchase it, rebuy it, have it break at any moment thing that is annoying, um, but we'll see. So that's my initial thought. I'm gonna keep this series going with this uh, expensive versus cheap to really test stuff out and really just to give you uh, my opinion and the feedback and real world experience. So. Uh, cheap versus expensive so far. And this one, not sure if this justifies 100 bucks yet, but time will tell. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Subscribe to follow along and see other products cheap versus expensive as we go through this journey together, testing overpriced stuff, or maybe not overpriced because that's all uh, subjective, but expensive stuff versus cheap stuff. Hopefully you'll hit that red subscribe button and follow along for more. Catch you on the next one. See you guys.